My name is Bruce Howard Bailey. I'm the chair of the British Association of Drama Therapists. And I'm Mary Smale, and I'm director of the Sesame Institute. Uh, we'd like to chat to you today about drama therapy in the United Kingdom. So drama therapy in the United Kingdom, let's start with the name, drama therapy. Two words that maybe have contexts or things put upon them that don't actually do what drama therapy is. Drama, most people think of performance, theatre, curtains, stage lights, therapy, something you have to have when you're real. Drama therapy is a psychotherapy, but it works with the creative. It moves less with pathology and more into the spontaneous and what comes through when we're able to play. Thinking back to ancient days of Greek theatre, where people would go and they would see a play and something would come through from their inner place, something new that would affect their life and their psyche. So, drama therapy is a psychological therapy that combines the power of drama and theatre and psychotherapy to let people make changes in their lives, to let people use their imagination, tap into their unconscious creative ability in order to make profound life changes. It can help them to redefine things like fear, love, courage, hopelessness, depression, anger, pain, and get a new understanding of them as they work in the context of their own personal daily lives. So, how do we get into drama therapy? Referral might come. You may be referred by somebody, or you may refer yourself to drama therapy. And drama therapists would work with all kinds and ages and stages of people, with adults, adolescents, and children. People with any number of issues. Autism, learning disability, challenging behaviour. People working in mental health, living with mental health. Issues. People recovering from early sexual abuse, uh, post-war mm -hmm. traumas. We'd be working in education and on the great continuum between people in prison and elderly care. People with profound and not so profound learning disabilities. And your everyday person who's trying to develop self-esteem. And confidence. And life purpose. And anyone at all who wishes to explore their personal journeys in order to make personal transformatory changes. So what do we do in a session? <laughs> <laughs> well, a drama therapist will work in many, many different ways. Uh, we could, for instance, work by making stories and using characters. And creatures that come and go with each other. We could work with natural objects from the sea and from the earth in order to build an environment, take us to memories of the past, take us to appreciating sensations, feelings, emotions, telling us something about ourselves, something that is within us, something that we don't usually have an opportunity to touch and understand. Or as well as those symbols, we could just come back to the everyday and play some games. Bruce. Mel. We could use images in order to recall where words are not enough. Those things about our dreams and our fears, our stresses, our pains, in picture form, and work with them, elaborate them, make our own pictures, make our own movements with our bodies in space. And all these things are held within the safe container of the, the session, the ritual, the holder of the inside value. 
In fact, drama therapists could use any medium at all. We haven't mentioned percussion instruments. Or voice. Or singing. Music. We haven't mentioned mythology. Or poetry. Writing. Writing letters home. Writing pretend letters home. And we haven't used movement and the language of the body. Or we haven't even used touch. All these different ways in which we can connect or reconnect where we have lost connection in situations of isolation, situations where confidence in communication is temporarily lost. Anything really that the client, as you, or indeed me, at any point, can use to connect with our unconscious inner abilities to make sometimes profound life changes. So coming from away from that inside place and about training in drama therapy, mm. there are trainings in the UK and they each have their own individual slant or hallmark. So if you're interested in training as a drama therapist or doing a short course to find out more about it, or just want to know more about drama therapy and drama therapists in your area because you may wish to refer yourself or someone you know, you're welcome to visit the website of the British Association of Drama Therapists at www.badth.org.uk Or have a look at the Sesame Institute at wwwsesame institute.org. We hope you found this short piece of film helpful in your exploration of drama therapy. And we thank you so much for watching. Thank you.